I'm just looking at Kay Cunningham and Jay Nivey as a backcourt. And as I've mentioned to you, when the Pistons are at their best, we've had all-star backcourts. My biological father, Jimmy Walker, my godfather, Dave Bing. Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, Bad Boys, Rip Hamilton, Chauncey, Mr. Big Shot Billups. And we have that again, Jacoby, and Kay Cunningham, and Jay Nivey. Both of these guys are going to be flirting with 17, 5, and 5 this season, creating for teammates, creating for each other, continuing to get better. Both of them competitive defensively. Kate is a terrific leader. I I'm really excited about what we're going to see from him. Detroit Basketball! What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. And today we have episode seven of Win With Every Team, which is a play now online series where I get a win with every team. And on top of that, I use that team's playbook. And last episode, we had the Rockets. So if you want to see that, I'll leave that linked in the description and I'll put a card on the screen. And today we got the Pistons. So like I said, you'll see me use a couple plays from the playbook. Uh, I'll also use Flow Freelance the last couple videos. And I used it in this one too, but I also used Bucks 2018. I really don't use Five Out too much. I haven't used Five Out in a long time. I really didn't use it much last year and this is my first time using it this year and I figured I'd give it a go in these two games because the whole starting five is able to hit threes and on top of that I was playing against some off bowlers so I figured I'd just space the floor put them in pick and rolls and make them play defense as well as be able to get some backdoor cuts plus in the first game against the Wizards he was trapping Cade Cunningham so that was another reason why I went to Bucks 2018 just so I could space the floor and if they if they trap me just hit the open guy and get an easy shot and so that that's pretty much it for the intro. As always, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content. What are you trapping me for, bro? Pass to Stewart. Woo! Gotcha. And finished off by Stewart. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Harden attacking. Count it. One for one to start the game. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Well, the number one overall pick in 2021, Cunningham, ended up third in the Rookie of the Year voting, but nevertheless had an outstanding first season. Pass to Gill. And he converts the layup. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Outside Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich. Yo, that trap is not about to do it for you, big bro. The NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well. And they're Got a hedge, big man. Well, you just need to have a high level of basketball like pick and roll. Corey Joseph, step to the mic, sir. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense given the situation. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Now here's Porzingis. Shakes him. And he lays it in. Porzingis has got six. Kristaps Porzingis is a tough cover. This guy knows he can make threes. Now you get inside the lane and look out. Have you not learned, bro? Stewart on target from range. And the Pistons lead by 10. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Oh, nice shot by Morris. I'm not sure what he was thinking exactly, but he finds a way to hurt. Now here's Cunningham. Back to Bay. Cunningham outside. Ah! Too strong, baby! Area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. Well, you look at Kuzma's shooting percentages. His rookie season still is most efficient, Greg. Yeah, because he's staying at about that same level. But as an offensive-minded player, if he can progress a little, that would certainly help his value. Now here's Barton. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <Get baby. laughs> and 
It goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. That one off Barton. To Detroit. Substitution for your wizard. Billy Hachimura. Here's Cunningham. There's 47 seconds left in the second period. Inside. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Oh, uh, what's wrong? You leaving? You don't want to play no more? More good call. You have to at least try to protect it. Oh, you're back. The back door cut. Here's Stewart. One more. Kicks it out to Cunningham. Let's go, Kate. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never That's tough. over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. To the inside. Bay. Bay. Oh, well. 11 points in the game. Pass to Ivy. Bogdanovich from long range. I could have greened that still. Come on, we're gonna finish. Make all make all your adjustments that you gotta make. It's rebounded by Morris. And the good news for the Wizards is there's really nowhere to go but up. Right. You have to learn from your mistakes and understand that the course of an 82-game season, it's not dictated by what you do in the first 15 games. I think these Wizards are ready to do just that, start to establish some consistency. Three minutes into the second half now. Bay outside. From deep. Give me the green <laughs> and Chap is not about to do it. Well, this is the area that he's most comfortable. Rui Hachimura, such a solid performer in the painted area. Boom! He jams it straight down. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? From Hell no! That's tough. The shot comes out. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Time out, time out. Time out on the floor. Detroit, Detroit calls timeout. Bye. Our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. We've got the Detroit Pistons and the Phoenix Suns. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Barbecue chicken alert. Barbecue chicken alert. Finished off by Stewart. Stewart, even though he's built a little stocky, can get up off the deck that time with a huge jam. Oh, don't give him that, Raph. Don't give him that. K. Cunningham showing his ability to get above the rim as a point guard. This makes him special. Out to the wing. Here's Hardaway. The defense board. By Bogdanovich. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights that bucket is automatic. Come on, K. Give me one. Good. Cunningham. The energy he brings to the game. That and that 7 4 wingspan. That makes a lot of things happen. Oh, yeah. Give me. Here's Hardaway. Yo, I never get those. Goes back up. I don't know. The Pistons clear it. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Prepare for takeoff, please. Oh, a rim rattling two. Let's go, and I'm hanging on a rim. Ignoring the defense. Game hit free throws. Cutting to get the shot. That's a great play from Kate. Shooting the technical free throw. Penny. That one's good from Hardaway. Now into the lineup 
the Suns trailing. Pass to Marbury. Here's Marion. From deep three point range. What? There's oh my God. He can't get that one to fall. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Bogdanovich with it. Oh, bogey. You're supposed to stop. Back to Cunningham. I see you, though. Out to the right wing. Gets the three to fall. I wanted bogey to stop on the wing for the three. In and focus on making the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Now here's Cunningham. Hey, whose man is it? Shots good on the assist by Cunningham. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Left side Johnson. And the block. The rejection. But Stewart hustling over. He saw that shot coming, and he was there for the taking. Pass to Bogdanovich. Thirty seconds left in the first quarter here. Five to shoot, and here's Ivy from the arc, and the three-pointer goes. Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up. Let's go, Nerlens, on the floor. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league. In today's game, you've got to be able to shoot the three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to yeah, defend the three, here. so you've got to keep that score moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium, Ali. Thank you. Oh, he's not out of here. Like a matador. Ole. What's he doing? No defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. He picks the exact right moment to get himself a clear line to the basket. Pass delivers. Three pointer. Another three for Detroit. To give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now. Oh, snatchies. And he lobs it up top. Snatchies. Pass into the post. Well, it gets trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Nope. Pass to Stewart. Nope. Back to Bay. Here's the three. Stop jumping so much. The triple. And Bay's not going to hesitate. Very confident in that range. One forty-nine left in the half, and it's in there. He's got fifteen. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Cunningham. Ah, uh, caught you sleeping, big bro. Now here's Cunningham. For three. Another three for Detroit. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Here's Cunningham. 16 points for him. To the right side. Bay outside. Clock at six. The Pistons need to get one up quick. And again, it's Detroit. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Hardaway. Shit out here, nigga. It's in the game. And here comes the break. Hey. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. 
Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. And here's Detroit. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Bay from long range. And so the ball out of bounds. Bay touched it last. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. To halt the run. Okay, good shot. The trifecta. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give them a good open look from the perimeter. Inside. Stewart. Isaiah Stewart. He takes advantage anytime he's got a chance to get near the rim. Nice to see him get up on that one. Here's McGroot. GG's.